Hello YouTube, we're going to be replacing the fuse holder in my Variac and it will show you why we're going to a little bit bigger fuse. Uh, just unscrew it real quick. quick. You can do this. Quick. Quick. Boy, I'm just not good with words today. Okay, I'd go to Radio Shack and get these little things, okay? And this probably has a 4 amp fuse in it. I'm going to go up to a 5. I feel it's safe. It's only 3 amp. Very, very act. Uh, one thing I need is like you hook your rotary Dremel tool. Always start on low and speed it up. When you're going to shut off your Dremel, turn it down. If you have it crank way up, the surge can blow the fuse. That's what I learned the hard way. That's why I end up buying fuses. Uh, so that is why we're changing this fuse. We'll have pictures of these side by side. <clears throat> okay. We'll just leave this. Put that over our little can. It's a tuna can. It had ham in it. Pencil race. We'll show you why we're going to be using that. Kind of fizz around the tripod again. We still haven't found a the hub that we should have to put on our camera boom. Okay, we're going to take the knob off. We already have that loose. This just lifts off this way. Okay. Then the cover comes off. Okay. We'll get you over here and we'll show you just a simple explanation how these work. If you really want to learn about these, uh, there's plenty of videos on YouTube. There's contact over contactless wire. We'll zoom in and show you how dirty it is while we're going to clean it. I really like this camera. I can zoom in. It's kind of shaky like this now when I do that. Uh, this is where it rides. We're going to clean this up. This is enamel copper wire, which is like a varnish coating, and then they, they sand it off, clean it off here. This contact contacts here, okay. Then you have uh, over here is one end, and they tap into these, okay. Let's go down here. See where they tapped into this? See there's more wire where this goes around? This is how you go over 120 volts, okay. I just watched the video this morning. If you, let me go back up here. Focus. Here you go. I like how this camera is pretty good at focusing. If you go past that tap, that gives you more voltage. Believe it or not, you can go over the 120 volts coming out of the wall. So be aware when you hook something up, crank it all the way up. I would never run my Dremel up there. He'd be screaming. Uh, let's see if we can get around her with the cord. And no, this is not plugged in. You see that short fuse holder in here? Yeah, let's find something to point with. Instead of sticking your big finger there. Here this works good. This red plastic straw. I use this to blow the dust out. Just blow through it. Then we don't have to get out the air compressor. Just a secret. See how short that is? Okay. I never had this apart. I just guessed. I'm going to need a short one. Well look how close it is to this meter and everything. So this one can't get out of the package to me looks maybe even a little shorter we'll have pictures side by side okay we have to desolder this we have our little bulb sucker they make a soldering iron that has this on it here let me zoom back out bear with me we're still learning this camera so everything gets kind of quirky okay i had a soldering iron having these built into it where you'd press down like right here and it was hooked to a long tube and hooked to a soldering iron. If you've ever seen a desoldering soldering iron, what you do is just squeeze this, get in there, get it hot, and it sucks the solder up. And it's always plugging, so I need to find my little wire or whatever poker to poke the solder through. And then you just take this off to empty it. See a piece of solder fell out, see? See, you're learning all this good stuff today. Like I said, if you want to learn more about a variac, you can just go on YouTube. There is a video out there with a big, giant red one. It's made by the same company as this. Uh, it's a big one. It's got double outlets. It's like a 20 amp. Okay, enough showing you the insides. Like I said, this, this is one big, giant loop of wire. And what it does, it makes resistance, okay? So you figure you're hooked over here. Your tap's over there. If you're over here, it has to go through a lot of wire. When you get over here, you're going through less wire. So, you have less resistance, more voltage. That's the best way I can explain it. I'm not a technician. 
I know the basics of electronics. I worked on some radio stuff and did things, but so I'm not going to try to get technical like an expert because I am not one. Okay, enough yakking. I will bring you back when we got the things soldered in there, cleaned up. Looking at the video, cleaned up, and I'll TV pictures of these fuse holders side by side. Okay. So you can see they're about almost the same size. I'll lay the fuse by there so you know which fuse holder is which. So stay tuned. We'll get this job done. It'll take me a while to clean everything up and do the work. Okay, bear with me. This is worth mentioning. Now when you look at these fuses, you swear they're the same size, right? Okay. Now, I will put in the description the size of what these fuses are. I cannot tell you these. I do not have the packaging from Radio Shack. These are at least 5,000 smaller in diameter. Okay. Than these. They're the same length. But, here's the thing. I don't know if this is going to show up or not. See that nice clip in there? Sure that will. See how that clips that fuse in there and that nice fuse holder? Now look at this one. This could be the problem why I was having trouble blowing fuses and think it's my fault. See that? That's all wallered out. If that had a clip feature to it, it's all shot. Okay. Plus, if you look in here, see that crack? That's cracked right there. See that? So I won't even take a photo of it. There, it showed up good enough. Here's the new one. So... I didn't mess up too bad. I'm sure the fuses would swap interchange, but the fuse holder was bad. And like I said, these came from Radio Shack. They're no longer in business that I know of. Uh, not around me. And this is the fuses. I might have made a mistake. I might have said 5 amp. I'm using 4 amp. So I will put in the description what diameter and length these fuses are because I can get these. This, this is probably a lifetime if I don't get carried away. I mean, there's 10 of them. I mean, I bought four in a pack at Radio Shack but back when it was open and that's probably been a couple years ago. Because I said I'd whip on the switch on the Variac with the Dremel all the way turned up and I'd blow the fuse instead of turning the speed down. Okay, enough yak about that. That just made the video two minutes longer. When we come back, it'll all be together. And I'll, you look for the picture of this. Yeah, look for the picture of this. Cleaning the copper on there. That's what I use the pencil for. Okay, stay tuned. We'll get this done yet. Okay, that soldering we're done. We had to make the hole a little bit bigger. And we did take a picture of the fuse holder. There's a little plastic tang on there. They had to file a notch to keep that from spinning. So just a little bit of file work. Uh, blew out all the metal dust. We're done. We're going to put it back together. We'll see if it works. Okay, we're done. We have it hooked to our rotary tool. Uh, offshoot of a Dremel. Everybody calls it Dremel. It's a rotary tool. That's on the slowest speed. I don't know if you can see the needle in there. I usually don't run it much past there. I really can't tell you the voltage right now. That's probably about 55 volts, double at 110. I usually don't run it any much faster than that. And this has a setting on it where you can click it on max. You got speeds in max. So that's where I put it at when I use the back in frame. You can tell, like I said, you want to really max it out and go over 100. It just burned out. Okay, we'll do one short little clip. We'll just plug it in and run through the speeds of that without the very act. You can tell the difference of why I like this control. This is getting to be too long a video, but oh well, it happens.
We'll be back with it plugged in using the speed in the tool. Okay, this just uses the tool itself. There's one, three, four, five, and that's Matt. I never run up there. It is kind of infinite control. But if you notice on one, there's times I want it slower than that. Not infinite. I mean, there's big words. Smooth, consistent. There. Sometimes that's too, too fast on one. I think you get what I mean. More options, less options. There you go. Thanks for watching. I'll include some pictures.